much for being on here with us. Well, thank you, Devon. I appreciate it. And uh, how's everyone? First of all, I want to thank Devon for that wonderful introduction. She says some very nice things about me, but uh, you know, we're being we're blessed to be in business with you, and uh, you know, the entire organization knows that you're a servant leader and the best of the best. So thank you again. I really appreciate it. So I don't know if we're muted, unmuted tonight, but uh, how's everyone doing this evening? Great. Good. Great. Good. Great. I'm assuming that we probably are muted. So uh, Devon, what's my timeline here? About 20 minutes, 30 minutes? What are we talking? Sir, uh, we have a live event tomorrow, so you're good. So Okay. All right. Door. Fantastic. All right. Well, uh, Devon shared with me two topics that she wanted me to cover tonight. Uh, one was tap rooting and one was events. And these are actually, I was tickled pink because these are two of my favorite topics. As a matter of fact, she mentioned uh, Mr. Aaron Burt and Patrick and Michael Mazur. And the tap rooting topic is very apropos because um, Aaron actually falls on our team on my personal seventh level and the Mazers fall on my fourth level. So it was through the tap rooting concept I'm going to share you that led me to both of these superstar organizations. So what we're going to coach you tonight isn't theory. It is proven success material. And I want to make sure you all understand. There's a lot of different organizations, a lot of different subtleties, a lot of different systems in ACN. And there's no right or wrong. There's only effective and ineffective. So what I'm going to share with you tonight is a proven effective system. And again, for the most part, this organization is going to be doing a lot of nodding because you basically are probably doing basically everything I'm going to talk about tonight. Um, so one of the beauties of talking to a group that's part of our extended family is what we coached as has you know been replicated, duplicated, and continues to be uh, you know, utilized in this formula. And this group is part of that extended family. So let's get down to it. I'm going to pull up some slides behind me. And I want to begin with the tap rooting concept. So let's just take a look at tap rooting for a minute. When somebody gets involved in ACN, so let's say that you personally are starting a new leg and you have been enrolled a new business partner, okay? They're on what we call obviously your level one. Now, the mistake that a lot of leaders make is they promise their new people the world. They'll say stuff like, we're gonna get you to RD and we're gonna build four legs. And that's that should never be said because you don't wanna be stuck manufacturing anyone to any pin level. All I ever say to people is you and me together we're going to work together to build as big a team as possible, as quickly as possible. And in this instance, I talk about building a team. I don't talk about structure. Now, if I get somebody that understands network marketing, that wants to be structured in a way that gets it, they want to be structured RDRVP, I don't ever not coach someone how to do that, but I don't promise someone that I'm going to do that for them. And if we make the mistake of talking about, well, I'm going to get you to RD, well, here's the challenge with that. If you promise someone RD and you tap root, you're not getting them to RD. You're building one leg. And you got to be careful because they can look at the tap rooting as, hey, you're not doing what you said. Why are you tap rooting deep when you should be building me wide? And that's not what we need to be doing. We are tap rooting legs. It's their responsibility to continue to personally recruit and build wide. And as they build wide, we can help tap root those legs. But let's just talk about one organization for the sake of this argument or this coaching, I should say, not an argument. So I enroll someone in the ACM. They're on my level one. Well, what I want to do is I want to get into their warm market before they screw it up because we know most people are not coachable. They get in, they fire hose people, they start selling the business, not the speaker. They start yapping away. They say all the wrong things and they burn through half their warm market. And then they get discouraged because they screwed it all up. They weren't coachable. They didn't listen. And sometimes they're doing it purposely, sometimes just out of ignorance. 
but they just are not. Matter of fact, most people are not coachable out of the gate. I wasn't. Heck, my first uh, my first home meeting, uh, Debbie Davis was coming from Detroit, Michigan to do it. She told me to sell the speaker, not the business. I didn't listen. I got 0 for 9. No one showed because I spent 30 minutes with all of them and explained the whole deal. So it took me the second try to sell her, not the business, and I had 9 out of 12 show. But here's what I want to share with you. Somebody gets in the business. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to launch them and get their PGW or PBR home meeting on the books within two, three, four, five days. And from that, hopefully double digit PGW. And let's just say, let's just say this whole group falls short and starts with five people and it replicates with only five. Let's just go that route. So some, you get someone involved, they only get five people on the PGW, one gets in. They fall on your level two. You go right to that person and do the same thing. You get into their warm market, get a PGW, watch them, get a PGW on the books within two, three, four, five days. And you just, when they get their person in at your level three, you go to that person. You don't keep trying to go wide with the first person you brought in. You tap it straight down five or six levels within the first 30 days. And if everything is being done in a three to five day window, you should be able to be five to six levels deep within 30 days. Now look, at sometimes this just blows up in our face. You might tap it down three, you could get somebody involved and uh, you could get somebody involved Excuse me one second. I apologize. Someone just sent me a text that threw me off. Um, you could get somebody involved that does nothing. You could tap down three levels and it just dies on the vine. I mean, especially remember when you're when you start, if you're personally going to start a leg, and I want to talk to you about personally starting a leg, you want to be, you want to be bringing a red into the business. I mean a red apple. We have red, greens, and blues, right? Reds are people we look up to, greens are our peers, blues look up to us. Blues are the easiest people to peak. So here's the challenge. If you, and again, I don't wanna make it sound like we're being judgmental on people. I don't mean it to sound that way, but we need to realize that there are people in life that are at certain levels of influence. So if I'm personally enrolling somebody, I'm gonna enroll an infrared, and here's why. The more personal influence a person that gets in your team has, look at no matter what we coach, people peak their blues. So if I'm if I have an infrared in the business, an infrared's blues is still a bright red level two. A bright red's blue is still a red level three. A red's blue is still a dull red level four. So we're still in the red zone. Four or five levels deep. What do I mean by red zone? Business owners, homeowners, positive people, successful people. You know, that's what I mean when I talk about a player's red zone. And you know, remember this: it doesn't always mean that they have to be super successful. Just a positive attitude is infectious. But there's certain things we look for when we start tapering. Because think about this: if you start with a in the blue zone, and then you're going blue to dark blue, to deep blue, to violet, you're in the ultraviolet zones down here and you're running. Oh, I don't understand what just happened there. One second. Okay. Is everyone still there? All yes. Right. I got interrupted by a FaceTime audio coming in. I don't know why that just happened. But if you start in the blue zone and you get all the way down into the ultraviolets, um, you know, you're, you're looking at like a 20% qualification ratio. You're, you know, people get in and disappear on you. Have you ever tried working in the blue zones? You can't even get them to get three services, let alone do anything else. Does that make sense? So the biggest key is to start as bright red as possible and then do your tap rooting process. Now, here's the next thing. We know that in some instances, not even if we're in the infrared zone, people don't always cooperate in getting qualified. 
Qualification ratios are crucial to the success of your business. Because the only way people get paid in ACN is through qualification ratios. This is what drives the weekly bonuses. This is what drives promotions. This is what drives the monthly bonuses. This is what drives residuals. Everything flows through qualification ratios. You really need to be 80, 90% qualification ratios. And one of the ways to hedge that bet is to build this quickly deep, make sure that people down here get a total of 15 points and burn it from the bottom up with the $400 bonus. So I'll give you an example. If levels, let's say you tap it straight down and you get the level five. And levels five, you help level five get the $400 July bonus. In other words, 30 total points, 15. They got 15, level six got 15. So your level five IBO got 30 points between them and their team. First of all, by tapping five levels deep, you're still in your money line. Be even before your RVP, you're paid 4% through five levels. That's important. But keep in mind, once there's 30 points here, then levels one through four, all they need to do is just get qualified for 400 bucks. So if I'm, if someone, look, at, if I'm calling somebody up and saying, hey, we need to get you Qualified with me, well, $75. They may or may not be excited. But do you agree that $400 would probably motivate them more than 75? So if level five, if level five has achieved the July, the 30 day bonus, then levels one through four, all they need to do is qualify and they'll get the 30 day bonus. And you could have this burn from the bottom up and all five people to get the 30 day bonus just because this person got it. That's the key to tap rooting. And it isn't, you know, stopping and pushing these people, burn it quick, tap it down quick, five levels, and then burn it from the bottom back up. That is the key to the tap rooting concept. And remember, sometimes this is not gonna work. You're gonna get a couple levels deep. It will fail, it happens. I've had plenty of tap rooting legs fail on me in my career but you know what the ones that don't and here's what will happen as you go through this group you're sorting for the next person that gets tap rooting they pick up the torch and they do what they got to do you know i was talking to alejandra Kalman, uh patrick mazer's uh significant other and she had someone come to an event in fort lauderdale who went rc in 41 days they're on her level 84, <laughs> her level 84. And she didn't tap it 84 levels deep. If you tap it six levels deep, chances are somebody here is going to get it. They'll become a presenter. They'll become an enroller and they can pick up the baton. So case in point, if you look at, let's look at this organization right here. As I tapped it, Six levels, seven levels deep, I found Aaron Burt. Aaron Burt understood tap rooting. He picked up the torch. He didn't understand, you know, he didn't do it immediately, but within 60 days or so, he was presenting, maybe even quicker with him. But he understood tap rooting really fast. He got it. So he picked up the torch and started tap rooting. He found Cody Mackey, among others through the tap rooting process. So understand that once you get this going, it can replicate. So that's all I really want to cover with tap rooting. Hopefully that made sense. And uh, Devon, can I just double check with you that I'm still coming in clear? Yes, you are. Okay, fantastic. So let's switch gears. Is there anything else you wanted me to cover on tap rooting? No, that's good. Okay. Let's talk about events. And this is Network Marketing 101, the stair steps to success as it relates to events. So the first step on the, on the ladder is a PGW PBR home meeting, which is what we call a first look. You may call them PBZs. I'm not sure what you call your Zooms. We call them personal webinars. Some people call them PBZs. Devon, what does your team call them? P, uh, 
PBZs or PZ. Oh, I'm sorry. We call them PZMs. PZMs. Okay. So um, whether it's a PZM, yeah. a private business reception, or a home meeting, that's what we call a first look exposure. That's an event, right? Now, from those events, some are going to get in the red apples, and we're going to start the taproting process, correct? Some of them, and then those are in, we're then going to promote the Sunday strategies. And I believe this group is part has Sunday strategies, right? Also, our team runs a nightly 8 p.m. presentation. I don't know if that's happening with the organization or not, but let's just forget the nightly and look at the Sunday strategy. So someone sees a PGW, whatever you call them, I forget, PZM, whatever you just said, PBR home meeting, that's the first look. Red apples get in, we start the process, we promote the Sunday strategy. Those that are green apples, we promote the Sunday strategy. Now, the next thing, and this may come before or after the Sunday strategy webinar, the local event. I believe I heard that there's a local event tomorrow. Now, Devon, I'm going to ask you some questions. Are you running weekly or monthly live events right now? Right now, it's just monthly. Uh, okay. Like you spoke about in Mexico, and then we also plug into the merge events. Okay, so that's the way we're all, most of the organizations are building now. We used to build nightly home meetings into a weekly local event. Well, now we're doing 29 days of, of Zooms, PBRs, home meetings to feed a once a month local event. Now, here's the danger in that is people that live and died back in the day, people that lived and died by the local event would at least throw one or two people in front of it once a week. Well, the ones that live and die by the local events now literally work one day a month. The day before, the Thursday or Friday before the local event, they panic and grab people and bring them. That's, that's a failed approach to ACN. It's what you do on a day-to-day -day method of operation to feed the local event. And I'm gonna show you right now exactly how that works, okay? This is crucial, what I'm about to show you. So what you see here right here is an example of three Zooms. And I'm just gonna call them Zooms, personal Zooms. I don't want to I keep getting these acronyms off. Oh, what's the attendance? And everyone's personal Zoom. And this example, here's just three new IBOs and three separate personal Zooms. Now, these three Zooms could all be all 6.30 on a Monday night. They could be spread out over a week. They could be whatever. But this is your entire organ. Now, we're talking about, let's talk about Baltimore, Maryland. I think the event tomorrow is in Baltimore. Uh, yes, not too far in the DMV. Yeah. Okay. But in the, okay. So let's just talk about that area. We know this organization has a boatload of people on this call in that area. So there's no timeline on how, uh, how many, the maybe, maybe only three of these the entire month happen. Maybe three a day are happening. It should be three, you know, should be three a day easily. But we know that a lot of people are not on their game right now. But watch how simple this is. Let's look at each of these Zooms separately. They have 10 guests on, okay? Typically two red apples, two out of 10 join the business. Three out of 10 will be green to red. Three out of 10 will be solid green. One out of 10 will be green to rotten and one will be rotten. The rotten can be, hey, I'm just not interested in being a customer. Rotten can be, this is a scam. What are you doing? You better quit now. You know, all different levels of rottenness. But this is pretty much what we see. So here's what you have to understand. Off of each of these personal Zooms or home meetings or PBRs, whatever you're doing or combination of, remember you're doing 29 days of these to feed the event. So this is, let's just look at three, three. I mean, technically in 29 days, how many of these should be happening within this team? 50 to a hundred or more. Now. Chances are that may or may not be happening. If not, kind of getting gear, but let's just look at three, just three, okay? So let's say I'm an ETL on this call and I only have four or five people on my team, right? Well, 
pretty safe bet that you could be able to at least have three of these in a one month period. And that's really underachieving, but let's just say for now, that's all we're looking at. So let's leave each of you individually. Let's say just, and I don't know how many people are even on tonight. I'm not even sure. What do we have? 30 some on or more? It's about 24. Okay. So let's just say all 24 of you just did three P three personal zooms on your team over a one month period. That'd be 75 of these little, of these little events. Is that correct? Is it far fetched to say that each of you could do at least three double digit personals or not personal zooms on your team in a one month period? I mean, that's, underachieving but let's just say that's all it is watch what happens at a section of the event so if you look at this just from three double digit first look events you have six red apples nine green to red nine green three green to rotten and three rotten so now we're promoting the live event well of the six red apples five or six are going to show they're excited of the nine green to reds five or six of them are going to show of the nine greens three to five of them will show and of the rottens and green to rottens none of them will show which is a good thing we don't want them at the event they're they're infectiously negative and of course those happy faces are all of you that did this so just from three events Look at the site and forget about the happy faces for a minute. Just count the other ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 18. And let's say you don't even get the 18. Let's say you just get 12 to 15, just from three double digits. If this is done properly, even on a poor channel, you're going to have 12 to 15 new people at your event. And what's the attitude of these 12 to 18 people? The ones that got in are jacked up. The green and reds are looking for that push to get in. The greens are there to get information. No one is there negative. Now, I'm not saying all these green and reds and greens are going to enroll, but they're not negative. If they were negative, they wouldn't have shown. So can you imagine how big your once a month event should be if everyone just did like the bare bones basic? I mean, in all the cities back when we were running home meetings, we would be doing five to 10 home meetings a night. So imagine if there was just, three, but with this all 24 of you, let's just imagine there was just three double digit PGW or three double digit Zooms a night, not each. One out of eight of you did something each night. You would have this times 24 at your event you would walk into that event on saturday with with at least a hundred new faces and folks this is basic network marketing people have gotten tremendously lazy in this country zooms are nice because we don't have to get in the car and go do two home meetings a night and travel all over leave the family but because it's easy to do, it's easy not to do. And we got to make sure we understand this first look, second look concept. Because if you live and die once a month by your local event, you're cooked. And if you don't attend your local event, you're cooked. It's doing this on a daily basis to feed this once a month. And then that brings us to our stair steps, back to it, which is the regional event, which is the Cleveland event is next. That's the next eMERGE event. I'm not exactly sure how far Baltimore is to Cleveland, um, but I definitely would be looking at making that trip. It's gonna be a great event, it's about 90 some percent sold out. I would register right now, it's probably gonna sell out I would say with the next, remember, just like the last event sold out, this one's going to sell out. Um, I would be at this Emerge event. And if you're wondering about, well, what about the Fort Lauderdale event? Well, here's what I can tell you. 
Should we promote Fort Lauderdale over Cleveland? No, because if they go to Cleveland, guess what they're going to do? Register for Fort Lauderdale. If they don't go to Cleveland, they may be out of your business before Fort Lauderdale even comes around end of September. So my suggestion is make sure that we're doing daily presentations for first lookers, feeding them into the Sunday strategies and the once a month event, feeding them into the, you know, every other month emerge and our biannual international, which let's talk about that event in closing. For me, my first international event was a 12 hour drive. It was in Charlotte, North Carolina. Debbie Davis was teaching me to go to Charlotte. I was only in the business. Let me pull this up a minute. I was only in the business about, I don't know, maybe four weeks. And I told her I'd go, but in the back of my mind, I was like, lady, I ain't going. I don't have money to spend. I haven't got, I haven't made enough money in ACN yet to go spend money to go to Charlotte and you know, rent a car and get a hotel and pay for the pre-reg and, you know, in my mind, go to some rah-rah session. That's what I thought. And I almost blew off going. And I can promise all of you this, that if I would have skipped, and I made the decision to go literally two days before, if I would have skipped that first event, I don't know if I'd still be an ACN because I, like some of you, I was surrounded by negativity. My best friends were busting my chops all the time. Oh, you're a millionaire yet? You're still in that phone thing. My own mom at the time hated ACN. She thought I was a scam. She would, you know, I was living in her home at the time. If anyone showed up or called for ACN, she would, she would crush it. She called her whole family, told them don't get involved with my scam. Now she loves ACN now, but early on she hated it. So I was surrounded by half my family that hated it my friends that busted my chops and I don't care how strong you are. Sometimes it gets to you, especially early on in that roller coaster. So when I got to Charlotte, not only did I go, I made a, once I decided to go, I brought two people with me. So we showed up with just three of us. But once I saw what ACN was at that convention, I was locked in. I don't care who you were or who you thought you were. If you busted my chops on ACN, I got on my ACN steamroller and I made you part of the pavement. Get out of my way. I'm not interested in your ignorance. I now know what I didn't know, the significance of this company. And all of you, yes, you know the accolades, you know all the magazines, the customer-centric, the awards. But I promise you, until you're at a convention and you feel it, it just is not the same thing. So my suggestion is to not only go, bring as many people as you can, because here's what I did. I showed my first convention with three people. The very next one, we combined to bring nine. The next one, we combined to bring 27. The next one, we combined to bring 102. Then we ended up having thousands of people at these conventions. So you want to, between your local event, and, and by the way, I want to talk to you about pre-reg for a minute. Don't kid yourself about going if you're not pre-regged, because here's what happens. I don't care how much in your mind you know you're going. If you're not pre-regged, you're never going to promote it properly, because if you're not pre-regged, if you go to promote it to people, what if they say, are you registered yet? Well, what are you going to say? Well, not yet, but I'm going to. That gives them permission to procrastinate. Procrastination is not a characteristic of a good leader. The Nike slogan isn't why do today what I can put off to tomorrow. It's just do it. Just get registered. Stop playing games. And also, if someone says, well, you registered, well, no, I'm not even going. That's a real bad look. Or you can lie. Yeah, I'm registered when you're not. People smell a phony a mile away. Get registered. You'll promote it better once you're truly registered, I promise you that. And every day that goes by that you're not registered, you're not promoting this properly, you're losing people on your team that you could be promoting it to that may not even be around or excited enough to register when this happens. Where if you register them now, they're probably still going to go. Even if they lose a little excitement, you know, the emotional roller coaster, 
they're locked to going, they're still going to go. And the fact that it's in Fort Lauderdale, I know this area. I live 10 minutes from here. I mean, you're, you understand you're a walk from the beach just across the bridge, white sands, turquoise water. So understand if you're a shark, you're going to have the top, you're, you're results oriented. You're going to have the top money earners on that stage coaching you how to do it. If you're a whale, you like to help others. We're going to have the Project Feeding Kids around a McDonald house there. If you're a dolphin, you like to have fun. Folks, it's freaking Miami. You're not going to sleep for three days. It's a 24-hour party if you want it to be. You can party. When you're done partying, you can party some more. When you're done partying a week later, you can still party. This is a nonstop party if you're a dolphin. Fort Lauderdale in Miami is 24-7 for partying. It doesn't stop if that's what you're into. I'm not saying any or all of you are, but if you're a dolphin, nonstop. If you're an urchin, all your questions will be answered. All the kiosk, all the product loose will be there. Everyone will be taken care of. It's a great event. So that's my recommendation. So other than that, uh, I believe at this point, Devon, we're wrapped up. I mean, is there anything else that you feel needs to be covered? No, sir. I, 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 if it's okay, could you just take just three questions? Because we obviously don't get to hear from you as much um, like sure. we do our other leadership. And um, most of the team maybe didn't even know you were our, our upline. And uh, okay. you know that we're probably a hundred and some, we, we were probably level deep or someone on here might be <laughs> on level 84 for you as an RC. So it's pretty cool to hear that story. So if it's okay, just uh, maybe just three questions, um, that would be appreciated. Fire away. Awesome. So anyone have a question? Unmute. Don't be scared. All right. Hi, I have oh, and then Miss Pam. All right. Miss KT, you're up. Oh, um, first of all, I want to say that um, I've only been uh, with ACN for a little over two months. And okay. I'm really excited about this and the tapping, uh, the tap rooting. I wrote everything down that you said. And I was looking at how the the qualified, help me understand where you talked about when you get to level five and go back up, because I see okay. you, you're talking about the point system there and the 30, the 30 day bonus and it goes back up, but I okay. Let me show you the slides and show you the bonus. You ready? Okay. So there's yeah. the tap rooting slide. Yes. You understand what the levels here mean, correct? Right. I do. Oh, so you enroll someone, they enroll someone there, you tap right. it down. I got that. So when you get to your level five, you've gone five levels straight down through the tap rooting process. Mm -hmm. This is done through five personal Zooms, right? Yes. So you're down in your level five, right? So let's look at number five and let's look at the bonus. Let me pull it up. Okay, so here we go. The bonus states that that person on your level five needs to have a total of 30 points with at least 15 coming from their team. Is that correct? Correct. Okay, so let's just break it in and that releases $400 to them. Is that correct? Correct. All right, so let's go back to this. So let's just say the level five IBO got 15 points exactly. And they're qualified with 15 points. Right. What would the level six rep need to have for level five to get the 400? Uh, a, um, at least five points and in, in one. No, at least 15 points. 15 points. In one five, point. Listen to what I'm at. This is important. You understand this. Okay. Look at the bonus. Okay. You have to have 30 total points between you and your team, correct? Yes. Okay, so if you look at the level five IBO, how many people in this example do they have on their team? They're on my team, so. No, no, look at level them. five. Uh -huh. How many people do they have on their team? None, right? No. They have one? One, because you, remember this is six levels down, correct? Right. So look at the example. In this example, your fifth level has one rep. So you're actually six levels deep. Okay. okay. All right. So does that one follow me so far? 
Yes, you're saying okay. that. So I'll, if level five has one person on their team, are they eligible for the July bonus? Yes, if they hit, they have 30 points. Right, with at least how many from their team? One person from the No, yeah, but how many points from their team? Oh, 30 points, 15 points. 30 total, how many right. from their team? At least 15. You got to understand the bonus in order to understand this. Okay. Read the bonus. All right. 30 total points with at least 15 from your team. So if you have one IBO mm -hmm. on your team, let's just say only one, you might have more, but you only have one. So level five has one IBO. That one IBO has to have at least how many points? 15 points. 15. Mm -hmm. And if they have exactly 15, how many would this person need to have to get the 30? 15. 15. So they each have 15. So if level five has 15 and level six has 15, what happened to level five in regards to the bonus? They get they get $400. 400, right? 325 yeah. plus 75. Is right. that correct? That's correct. Okay, now, Look at everyone above one through four, right? It's straight down. Mm -hmm. So one, two, three, and four at that point have how many points on their team from five and six? 30. 30. 30. So all they have to do, the 30 is already there. All they have to do is what to get the bonus? Uh, one person. CQ. All they got qualify. They got to qualify. That's all they got to do is CQ. So if all they, so let's look at level one for a minute. If all level one did was get three services, seven points, what would their bonus be? 75. Right. So let's say you went five Y instead of deep, right? Mm -hmm. Each of those five people would be positioned with no other points, will be positioned to make how much once they qualify. $75. Points. $75. $75. In half rooting instance, because you went deep, if one through four, if they were all wide, mm -hmm. they can only make $75 getting qualified. But in this example, if this person got the bonus already, then all these four have to do is just qualify. And mm -hmm. instead of $75, how much are they paid? $400. $400. $400. Okay. So okay. let me ask you a question. Do you think that they're going to be more interested in making 75 or $400? I think they'd be interested in making 400. Right. For doing what? For just being there. <laughs> For doing the same darn thing. Right. So wait, you're telling me that if I tap root properly, the one through fours for doing what would have made them 75 makes them 400. But when I call you up, cause you're, you know, you've joined the witness protection program or the aliens have abducted you. And you're making, giving me a hard time. Well, we need you to qualify. What's that going to get me? Well, $75. What do you think most people say when you say $75? Oh, $75. Wow. Yeah, yeah. So I got to go spend a quarterly ID seal, flip my flash and pay a month up front, go down to Zoom Energy to make 75 bucks. So I got to spend... 84, I got to spend 150 bucks, more than 224 to make 75. Yeah, count me in. Right. Right. Or you can say, look, you got 400 bucks on the line. Mm -hmm. So you go get a quarterly ID sale, flip your flash, get your, your other, you know, gas, electric, whatever. You're going to be flush. You're going right. to have $400 back. You're actually even ahead of the game. That's true. Because I, I got 600, so... I, right. I understand that. And remember, if they get five services instead of three, now they're even more profitable. Yes. And in yeah. an energy market like Baltimore, I mean, I listen, anyone in Baltimore, in Maryland, I, 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 if you're not going crazy with Zoom, you know, for every five gas electric customers, you're paid $800. Yes. And if you can't get excited about that, I don't know what to tell you. Look, I'm People so excited. I don't know what to do. Money. I can't make any, you know, I'm, I need money. I need money. Well, get off your butt and go get five gas electric customers. 
You know what I'm I mean? Almost there. There you go. And I'm not saying that to you personally. I mean, I feel it personally general. though, and it feels good. It does doesn't it? So, KT, do you want? Do you understand this now? Yes, yes, sir. I am. Okay. I'm understanding. Just remember that if you tap it down and get 30 points down in here, technically all you need is 23 points down here and you burn okay. the bottom. But you want to make sure that this person gets the key is level five gets the bonus right. and you can burn it from the bottom burn up. From the you got to also remember time is of the essence because remember level one only has 30 days. Right. So if you don't tap this down within their first 30 days, this doesn't work. Okay. Okay. You can't tap it down 90 days later because then the $400 doesn't exist for okay. levels one. Right. This has to be tapped six levels deep in three weeks, three and a half <laughs> weeks. So there's a little bit of time to get everything done. You need to get done. All right. Oh my Another goodness. Another way to do this, if you're cleaning the pipeline, if you know you have someone that has 15 points in their hands, Burn it from the bottom up. So if I got someone, let's say I have someone that owns a business and a home and I'm writing a lot, I've spoken with them and I know they got, they have, you know, 15 points themselves, mm -hmm. right? That I already know that I'm going to leverage with that. I can call up other people. Look at, I got a guy that's got 15 points ready to do. All you got to do is get in, get 15 points. You make 400 bucks. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's a very simple leveraging technique. And I know that some of this is advanced. So if some of the new people are like, what the heck is this guy's talking about? But hopefully, you know, most of you have an understanding. But you've explained it well. So I, you answered my question and that's what okay. I needed to know. So I'm, I'm excited. I was already excited, but I'm even more excited now and really excited to get to meet you. Hopefully Good. soon. All Real right, soon. I'll be in Cleveland. I'll be in Fort Lauderdale. Devon, why don't we take one more question because it's getting a little late. Yes, sir. Um, Ms. Pam, you had unmuted. Yes. Um, thank you so very much, Mr. Valentino, for being on today. I really appreciate the leadership and you went into details with the tap rooted because my question was, why would I tap root? You know, because I guess I'm thinking about me. And as far as the $400 and the $75, that makes a lot of sense because, of course, with me being a regional director right now, I don't to get paid on my five levels so that was always when you've done this training several times i've always wondered why would i take it that 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 deep and then lose out of the residual income but as far as helping my my team members i guess that's the way to do that to get them excited to get other people on the call opposed to going wide and they only get 75 well pam if you do this four times four separate legs you're on your mm -hmm. way to rvp right and you capture everything so okay. The, what you have to understand is this isn't where you keep tapping six to 13 to you're tapping through six to find someone else to take the baton. Right. Right. So maybe you're level two or maybe you're level six. You don't know if you find someone to take the baton. And if you're doing this full time, you could be tapping. I can literally tap root three to four legs simultaneously. Okay. And in that instance, you're heading towards RVP really quickly. And any, any short-term loss of revenue, you're gonna pick up long-term and residuals and you're, you're, you're stabilizing your legs. If you just go wide, 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 you're, there's no leaders being created. There's no, you're not locking yourself into the position and you're just throwing things against the wall to see what sticks. Right. Um, you you got to think RVP as you're doing this. Okay. Here's what I can promise you. Any short-term revenue that you miss out on, mm -hmm. you're going to more than pick up midterm and long-term. All right. Thank you. And our thing to remember is residuals are 90 days in arrears. Yes. So if you really do this properly, you could create RDs every 90 days and you could be an RVP within a year easily. And in that instance, we're paid three months in arrears. There's only nine months of six level down that maybe you missed out on, but you're going to pick it all up. Mm -hmm. And imagine this. What if 
all of the legs are driving deep with other people's efforts because you taught this. Right, right, okay. Versus if you're wide, 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 and you don't have any leaders, and you have all this activity in level five, then what? Mm -hmm. Then what? Thank you. Thank you. And it, Does bottom that make line, sense? Long-term long thinking. That's the bottom line. You have to have long-term You got, thinking. yeah, because, but you, you know, but make, there, there's no uncertain terms. Right. You are correct. Your clock is ticking. And every day, remember, you don't even need RDs. It's just 750 points in a leg right? Four legs, right? So remember, if you do this and you tap root and you sort for a leader and everyone's getting paid, right? And you got high qualification ratios and good morale, then you're going to, because quite frankly, if I would have went wide, Aaron Burt wouldn't be in the team. The people that are above him would have never found him. That came from me taprooting. If I wouldn't taproot it, I wouldn't have the Mazers on my team. So let me ask you a question. <laughs> Do you think losing a tiny bit of short-term revenue was worth having the coalition and the rock stars long-term? Most definitely. Most definitely. So what, maybe I sacrificed a few thousand dollars to make tens of thousands of dollars a month for life? I mean... Thank you for giving this personal training because I've always wondered that with the tap rooting. But you explained a lot of it to Miss KT that made more sense to the, you know, the way you broke it down the $475. So thank you for breaking it down more. Well, just remember, you got to tap root successfully yes. four different legs. Yes, sir. I, I get it. Yes, right. sir. It's not creating one ostrich leg. Yes. <laughs> okay. okay. And keep in mind, Pam, here's the other piece of this. All, if you're tap rooting down, and it's all one leg down, what are all these people looking to become? RCs. Yeah. So if they need to become RCs, what do they have to step up to do? Start going wide. They have to They got to build another yes. leg. Build, mm -hmm. You don't build it for them. Right. They got to build it. Okay. You, you burn it deep. They got to step up. And they, they see what's happening. They got to go start another leg and learn how to do this. Because they want to get to RC and stop the bleeding. Right. Now, all of a sudden, you're heading towards 750 points real quick. Right. And remember, every one of these people is thinking that way. So levels one and two, they're already building. So this person, this person, and this person all have to go wide. So if yes. this person, this person, and this person all have to go wide and pick up an extra 100 points over this 100 points, you're already at five, 600 points. Yes. RVP, baby. SVP, here we come. You with me? <laughs> I'm with you. I'm and if with you're already in RD, you just have to do this twice more. Right. Yep. All right. I'm Maybe with. three. I don't know your structure. Thank you. Thank you so you're much. You're welcome. I appreciate you. All right. Devon, I think we're good at this point. Yes, sir. Thank you so much, guys. If you can unmute, thank Mr. Valenino for taking the time out, coming on here. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Thank you, Mr. Valentino. Appreciate it. Thank all of you. It's my pleasure. I thank hope you. Many thanks. You helped a lot. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good night, everyone. Good night. 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 Get registered. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> hey, Devon, Ines is on here. She bring her on for a minute. Hey, Ines. Hey, bonjour. <laughs> <laughs> bonjour. Bonjour. <laughs> yes, wow, wow, wow. I see, you know, I was uh, listening and I was uh, looking at the screen. You have such, you know, motivated people here. And I really, I truly believe that, you know, you can feel with the experience that I have, you know, I can feel, you know, the, like the motivation and as well, uh, they are hunger. They are hungry. They, they, there is hunger here in that call. And that I think that this group will, we will hear from that group uh, really soon. Um, I, I just uh, only can encourage you right now. I cannot do say better things that get registered get registered for Cleveland and Fort Lauderdale. You don't want to miss that out. 
you know that the craziness where we are living now, the crazy world, nothing is so, you know, nothing is secure. We don't know what can happen in one week, in three months, in six months. I don't know what you're doing for a living. Maybe you have a job, maybe you are running something else, you know, a business, but secure yourself. Secure yourself. And every time, you know, I go through ups and downs, like all of us, right? We all go through those. And, you know, I, I, I look at my kids, my daughters, and I'm so grateful um, during, you know, the tough time that we have ACN because this is the most secure and the most definitely, you know, the, the thing that is the most safe for us. Um, and you are all part of it. So I'm learning, you know, always from my husband, from Danny, and I can tell you the best part that I, my favorite part is stop rooting and do it fast. Just do it fast. Uh, you, you know, I, he always told me half of my mind, this person will be an SVP, the other half, he will quit. So, you know, I trust you when you are in your good days, but I don't trust you when you are in your bad days. So I'm going to do tough roots and find someone else behind you. And, you know, when you do that and you make sure that everyone in your team gets paid as long as they want it, right, you will see that they will follow you for a long run because you always respect what you said. You always do what you uh, did say that you're going to accomplish. And this is one of the, you know, a part of what leaders do as well. So just uh, make sure that everyone, you know, enjoys ACN, get paid because this is how you get paid as well. Don't forget, you get paid on the success you help them to achieve, okay? You, we are all blessed because we bless others. So this is the key here. ACN is a blessing, we all know that. And it's easy not to do it as well as we heard from Danny. So it's time for you to shine. It's time for you to, you know, to shine and to show the world who you are, who you are becoming and really truly believe in yourself because you have the right vehicle here. And you know what? We can lie to ourselves. We do have no excuse because working works. That's it. So thank you so much, Devon. I'm so happy to see you. So nice to see you. It's so nice to see that group. Thank you so much. And um, I got one private message. He asked if he could ask you just one more question. I know you and Danny have to go and we appreciate you guys logging on. If you're okay with just answering one question. Yes, sure. Okay, Mr. Womack. All right, thank y'all both for being on the call. I um, definitely appreciate the words and that y'all have given it to the group and everything. And um, I just wanted to ask, um, is there like, um, you know, just for the group, because I know they would like to hear something like this. Is this any specific verbiage that, that y'all are utilizing or like places that you're going in order to peak individuals that you are like going in specific areas or anything like that? Uh-huh. Ha uh ha. -huh. Can I share a secret with them, Devon? <laughs> of course, of course. Okay. I'm going to share with you uh you know, the way I do it. So you're asking me the way I pick people, the language I use, or maybe the posture, right? Great. Here's what I find out. Hey, this is goal, what I'm going to deliver uh, to right now, okay? So just follow me. And if it makes sense to you, I would encourage you to implement it, to utilize that, because it's going to help you a lot. And because when I came from France, I came here to, you know, in the U.S., I, I had no contact, no relationships. And I had to do cold market no matter what. And uh, Devon, I don't know, do we have ETLs, RDs, RCs only or below? Uh, oh, everyone on here is the ETL and above. Okay, so I'm not going to shock them. Okay, <laughs> talking about cold market, right? So it's not, you know, the easiest way to do ACN, but I had no choice. So I had to talk to people that I didn't know. And here's what I find out. You know, I used to pick them and then you take their phone number and schedule, you know, a one-on-one -on -one or a webinar or something. And the problem is when you are the person who picks those people, well, you're not edified and no one edifies you. They don't know you. The only thing they see is your posture. Maybe your, they can feel your energy. They can maybe see your smile, but that's it. They have no idea who you are and what is your value business-wise. 
you know? Um, and the thing is, I find out another way and my picking process, in, you know, went to the roof. My ratios is really, really good. And as well, all the people attending the Zoom and everything, I don't have, you know, so much um, no shows. Um, the way I do it, Rashid, 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 Rashid okay, <laughs> Mr. Womack, the way I do it, uh, it's it's simple, you know, when I pick you and I, I pick your interest and I talk about yourself and I know that people like to talk about themselves, where, what do you do for a living, you let them talk about, you know, they share with you what they, who they are, what they're doing, and you ask them, you know, do you like it and, you know, how long you've been doing this and what about, you know, the money, your financial, you know, whatever you ask and they ask you, well, what about you, right? Believe me, when I, whenever it happens, what about you? They have to eat a presentation. They're going to eat one, no matter what. But the thing is, I don't schedule anything with them at that moment. And that's what I find out. I take their phone number and here's what I said. I'm doing my global business expansion. I just started, you know, a few days ago. I'm doing that global business expansion here in your area. And, you know, I'm all, you know, always looking for sharp people that so I start a serious business talk so I can, you know, expand my business. And I'm not going to talk about it right now. Um, I cannot promise you that I can share that with you in the next couple of days. Um, I don't know, you know, how my schedule is. My office is, you know, uh, get, get keeping me updated daily on my schedule. I don't promise you anything, but here's what I can promise you. I will make sure that my office give you a call back today in this afternoon. Just make sure you grab that phone call so she can, you can schedule a 20 minute live webinar with me so I can introduce that to you. Okay, so make sure you grab that phone call. This is a 873 phone number, uh, you know, a 218 phone number. It doesn't matter, but I, this only thing I can promise you is I promise you I will get back to my office right now just to make sure they will call you in this afternoon. Okay, so you can set up a time with them. And guess what? Your office can be anyone, can be your ETL applying, can be the business you know, partner that you're working with in a daily basis, can be your RD applying. It doesn't matter. Someone who is called your office. So to continue on that path, and believe me, people, they just, you know, get, you know, keep their word, they answer that phone call, and here's what happens on the uh, office call. So someone, let's say, Mike is your office, he's going to call Denise, who is your pick, right, and say, hey, um, hi, good afternoon, Denise, I'm Mike calling uh, uh, from the executive office on behalf of uh, Mr. Womack. Okay, regional director, I know that you showed interest to know to learn more about our global business expansion. She really uh, made a point of making sure that I was going to give you a call. So I have uh, Mr. My, um, I have, um, sorry, you are, yes, Womack. Um, I have Mr. Womack's uh, schedule right now. So I can give you two options. Today, 8 p.m. for 20 minutes, or tomorrow between 2 and 4.30. Always two options, okay? They have to choose something. So um, again, you're gonna be on the webinar with a, with a regional director, with a regional vice president, well, you know, uh, uh, Ms. Devon or who, who, Mr. Womack or whatever, it doesn't matter. But, you know, your office edifies you a little bit so the person keep, you know, oh my, my God, something is going on. This person is someone, you <laughs> know? So, okay, two options. So you limit, you know, the two options. They think that they have the choice, but you do, you control your schedule. So the office call uh, Denise and Denise pick up a time. And guess what? When you do, let's say it's a one and one, or you can even do piggybacks. Let's say you pick 10 people today. And, you know, some of them will choose tonight, 8 p.m. Others will choose 2.30. You can do piggybacks and, you know, just plug people into this. But guess what? You're not the one starting your webinar. Your office will be on the line. Mike will be on the line and say, hi, Denise, Mrs. Lee, how are you doing? So they will recognize that Mike was the one talking to them one or two days ago, okay? And then in, in uh, India, 
India, how are you? Yvonne, how are you doing? Great, great. Before we get started and before I introduce the guest speaker of the day, the, you know, the regional director, Mr. Womack, regional vice president, Mr. Womack, we're going to watch a two minute quick video. So you, they show the video and then she edified. Okay, she edifies you a lot. I was going to say something. She edifies you a lot, okay? <laughs> okay, I mean, Mark, in that case, edifies you a lot. And so corn market, you break the ice and they really truly understand that something is happening. This is really serious right here. And that person that I had the privilege to meet, well, you've created the respect right there, you know, even before the presentation, through the edification. So, and that changed so much, you know, so many things in my business. When you pick someone, you're not the one scheduling something. You let your office scheduling for you because you have your daily schedule and you cannot promise anything, but you will promise them, promise them that you will make sure that your office will call them in the afternoon. Okay. So that's the posture, that's the language, and I hope I answer your question. Absolutely. Let's give a round of applause Thank to Mrs. Valenino for being on here, giving you all the good. <laughs> Thank you, Devon. Thank you, all of you. Hey, let's go, let's get registered, and let's pick people. 10 picks a day for a week that will change your business forever. I'm telling you, 10 picks a day for a week. It's nothing. It's already 17 names out of your hundred squares sheet. So use that, okay? So thank you so much. Have a good night and see you in Cleveland. Thank no matter what, okay? Thank you. Bye. Thank you.